What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you my squad that I used to qualify for Foot Champions Week 3. I might do this as a weekly series because, of course, there's uh, certain requirements that you need. This one has to be four-star, and you can see the team I used. Now, the interesting thing is they have to be a minimum of silver, so you can't bronze bench. They have to be uh, silver, so I've used 65 rated silvers here, and we've got Pogba and Lukaku on the bench who were vital in me winning this tournament. Yes. I suppose that's on the title, so it's a little bit of a spoiler, but uh, if I'm going to be posting one of these videos, chances are I've won the tournament to actually qualify, but you'll see that at the end of the video, and I'll obviously show the highlights during it. So the squad that we've used, we've got Jack Butland in net, first owner, but very, very cheap, and he's six foot five, very overpowered. Van Aanholt with 88 pace at left back. I'll go through the team more during the highlights, but uh, yeah, we've got Cabaselli. Uh, as the centre back, the first one. Then we've got Eric Bailly, who I've uh, almost played 200 games with, but yeah, he's honestly my favourite defender on the game, as I keep saying. Hector Bellerin, a very, very overpowered right back with 95 pace. Sadio Mane at the right mid spot, a lot of pace in this team, as you would expect. Pereira, six foot with 81 uh, pace and 83 dribbling, four star skill moves, four star skills. Uh, four star weak foot, four star skills. Uh, then we've got Foster Mensa as the only silver on the team, he's a beast purely because he's six foot three and he's got a hell of a lot of strength. 80 pace again, so a lot of pace in the midfield as well. Martial, 91 pace, six foot, four star skills, four star weak foot. And then Rashford, who uh, has 90 pace as well, with Musa, who has 93 pace. So it's all about the pace in this team, and it really did work. Literally my first attempt, actually, I'll probably be able to, to show you that now if uh, the servers don't lag, uh, that it legit was my first attempt because it should say here that I've got three remaining and you only have four, so literally I'm qualified at the first time of asking. So yeah, I'll go through the team now. This team was generally a joy to use. I'm not sure if I was coming up against opponents who weren't very good, or maybe that was a mixture as well as actually the team because it is a really, really overpowered squad and it's ridiculously cheap as well. But Eric Bailly and Bellerin, who I think are more than 20,000, uh, and Marcial actually, so okay, maybe it's not as cheap as I thought. It's probably 100k, but you can get replacements for them. The rest of the team is ridiculously cheap. I think the most expensive player is probably 4k, maybe for Pereira or uh, Butland or someone like that. But yeah, it's really, really good. Creates a lot of chances. I like the defense as well. It's very strong. Cabaselli is six foot two, and he's also got 78 pace and 81 physical and 76 defending. For the price you're going to be paying, which is like... A couple of thousand coins he is unbelievable and especially partnering him with someone as strong as Bai, it really really did work we're into the quarters here we did win that in extra time 3-2 Um I created a lot of chances I just wasn't really putting the finishing touch on you'll see I think in game three there's a highlight that I just couldn't believe it didn't go in but we did actually win and we're scoring a lot of good goals as well that was a really nice long-range effort from Musa but my opponent here gets the ball and uh, unfortunately does get the equaliser. It was a really well-worked goal, but I was disappointed because I was all over him and uh, it just looked like one of those games. But Martial puts it through to Musa, who scores again. He is so overpowered. It is unbelievable. But you can see by the match stats there, 12 shots, 8 on target. Uh, maybe not as much as I thought I did have, but we do make it to the semi-finals. And yeah, I really did enjoy this team. Also, the formation, 4-4-2, uh, might surprise people because it's not really you know hailed as a overpowered formation but on this game it really was maybe it's because both my central midfielders had uh, 80 plus um pace i was gonna say chemistry but pace this is the highlight that i'm on about i don't know how the hell i didn't score and uh, yeah i hurled over the ball when it was an open net after hitting the post and after a great save from his keeper. But yeah, we do actually get the breakthrough here. Um, you know, he, he couldn't really mark three players there. And uh, Musa again getting the goal. But unfortunately in the second, 82nd minute, sorry, um, some terrible defending by myself. And literally one of his only chances actually ends up in the back of the net. But we go to extra time for the second time in three games. And I did mention how I subbed on Pogba and Lukaku. They were vital. Pogba there getting a goal. I subbed him on for Fosu Mensa maybe like 60 minutes in. And uh, yeah, he gets another header there in off the bar. And my opponent at this stage literally gave up. He was 
just playing around with his goalkeeper. I don't understand what the hell he was doing, but uh, I wasn't going to let up. Mane manages to tackle the goalkeeper, comes out to Musa, and he just slots that in. And it didn't end there. He was just playing it around the back. He was trying to... I don't even know. Like He was just frustrated, so... Yeah, I, I didn't let up 5-1 here. And again, he, he's just literally pissing around with the ball in uh, his defence. Pogba gets that into Lukaku and he slots it in to make it 6-1. So that is how the game finishes. 22 shots, 14 on target. We did dominate possession. I never really hold possession too much. So yeah, that wasn't that high. But uh, we're into the final at the first time of asking. And the, the team he comes up, I come up against, 72 chemistry, but he subs on Aguero. I think it's Hazard and De Bruyne for the three silver players, but it means that they weren't really on perfect chem. But the first goal we do get here is absolutely tremendous. Great work there. And I think it's Musa who <laughs> finishes it off again. But uh, Rashford finally gets a goal in this game. And it's, it's honestly, what a goal that is from Rashford. These two as a partnership really, really did work. Rashford was more of the assister. But uh, in the second half, Aguero does pull one back for him to make it 2-1. And uh, Rashford doing some good work down the touchline here. Manages to get a shot off. We get a little bit of luck. Comes out to Musa. Heads it in. 3-1. And uh, he, he actually gets Aguero sent off. As you can see, he was already on a yellow. And uh, another stupid foul there. Second yellow. Literally sending off for his sub. Aguero, the striker. Like, it, it, it just was a bit crazy. But yeah, he, he literally turned his Xbox off. As you'll be able to see here. Like, um... I thought he'd stop playing, but the game literally disconnects. I was holding my breath, hoping that it would actually register as a win for me, because sometimes it doesn't. And thankfully, as you'll be able to see here, it does. So we have won the daily knockout tournament. Now that, you know, the pack isn't great. Uh, 1,000 in a 5K pack, but that's not the main uh, reason that we're playing these. It's so we can qualify for foot champions, and we've actually done that. So uh, yeah, a 3-1 win, first time of asking, which is the first time this FIFA that I've done it, the first time of asking so far. But I'll show you the pack here. It's actually not too bad. For a 5k pack, I will take it. It's uh, Jose Fonte, who will be useful in squad building challenges later down the line. So I was very happy with that. And we've qualified for foot champions. So yeah, that's the team I did it with. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.